how to connect your notion with anything step by step hey everyone welcome back to our channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can connect your notion with anything workflow so right now as you can see here i have already connected and performed one task which is getting a database name when i execute this thread it will give me the name of the database and the url so how you can do this so first of all what you have to do is get back to your uh, notion and from there you have to go to settings so uh, before that you have to open your workflow and add the notion uh, node into your workflow for example we'll just simply add the notion and from here you have to select the actions like there are a lot of actions as you can see here you have the user action and then you have the database related actions like uh, you can create a database so we will perform one by one so let me first connect with it first i will choose this get database now let me just okay here we go and from there you have to open your node and from there you will see this credential to connect with simply click on this create new credential now it will ask you to enter the internal integration secret so how you are going to find that so in order to get that get back to your notion so as you can see here i have already created a team space and the workspace as well so i'm assuming that you have created all of this so now what you have to do next is just go to settings and from there you have to go to connections and then in the connection you have to find the develop or manage integration option click on it and it will take you to the next page where you can manage your integrations like you can integrate with the third party now click on this new integration now after opening that what you will see this is where you can manage your all the integration details like first we will add this as an integration name which is test 2 and from here you have to choose associated workspace now i have only one workspace so i will choose one it can be two or three you have to select uh, select your chosen workspace where you have to perform the automation now from here you can if you want to choose a public you can choose then you have to add a company name website and all of the different details but i will choose only internal and then after that you have to enter the logo now let me just select this logo this is a random one you can put your own logo or you can just uh, and skip this part now after that you have to click on the save button just simply click on the save and from here you will see the integration successfully has been created now then you have to click on the configuration setting now if you scroll down a little bit you will find this internal integration secret just simply click on the show and then copy make sure you have uh, hide this do not share uh, do not share with anyone so from here you can see the capabilities but i will not go into that i will just go back to our anything and paste this over here and then after that you have to click on the save button now wait for a few seconds now our connection tested successfully now we haven't uh, finished yet as you can see when i connected now still i'm not getting my any result now in order to do that what you have to do is you have to uh, connect your integration with your project now, as you can see here i have this task tra tracker now what i'm going to do is just simply add a new database over here and from here let me choose the goal tracker just simply i will choose this uh, template let me add some of things and then click on the continue and click on the done so i have created this database now from the top right corner you have to select these three dots click on it and from there you have to choose the connections from here you can manage all the third party connection or import your connection over here now from here as you can see we have correct you can say created this integration which is test two you have to just simply click on it and from here you have to click on the confirm it means you can add your integration into this database so you can manage this database using your automation so simply click on the confirm and let's get back to our anything and if you let me just refresh this click on the save 
uh is there any need to refresh let me just see so as you can see we have successfully add added our database now from here let me just perform a simple task which is execute step now from here as you can see we have successfully get our uh, database name it means the notion and integrate uh, sorry the notion has been connected successfully with the annotant now if you want to create your own automation you can create but let me just show you what you can do more you can create database as well just let me search more and click on the notions from here you can perform a lot of actions like database actions and database page actions let me perform the create a database page just go into it and from there you have to choose all of the resources and operations and databases for example uh, where you want to uh, create a database page uh, you have to select the goal tracker which is which we have created earlier now from here you have to give the title for example i will just give a goal and then from here you can add different different properties to your page like in the if you want to add due date you can add if you want to give a range you can select a start date and end date and then default as well uh, let me just disable this now you can add a um, property from here you can choose end value goal name owner priority and all of different different values now uh, i will not do that let me just execute this step let's see if it is create a new database page or not so as you can see here the name is cool from here you can access the url of the page as well let's get back to our init uh, notion and see if we have created now as you can see we have successfully created a, a database page now this is how you can do that now if you want to create more complex init and workflows you can just uh, watch my other videos I have already created a video on that and if you want to just play with this you can just simply go and connect your notion with Anaten and start uh, experimenting on that so yeah if you found this video helpful then subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching